Wednesday night in Boston, in Game 3 of a series between the Bruins and the Washington Capitals, Bruins goaltender Tuka Rask punched Capital Garnet Hathaway multiple times with his blocker. And this is one of those things that drives me the most crazy, is Bruins defenseman Charlie Coyle actually shoves Hathaway directly into his own goalie. I don't know why defensemen do this so often, and then they typically have the nerve to jump on the player while they're down and punch them or otherwise. In this case, it's Miller in front of the net. He hits Hathaway with a cross-check, by my count his 873rd cross-check of this game, by the way, and then Coyle jumps on top of him. And now, this is the best part, is Rask, of course, has no idea Hathaway was pushed in, so he's understandably mad, so he starts punching. But watch Coyle. He actually moves his right arm out of the way so Rask can get a better shot at Hathaway's head. He pulls it up, and then when the linesman comes in and stops it all, he lowers his arm back down. So right off the bat, this should have been a match penalty on Rask, and he shouldn't be finishing this game. And that's under Roughing Rule 51.3, specific to goalkeepers and blocker punches. Now, if it was just one punch, or if they were body shots or something, I'd cut him some slack. But these are forceful and targeted directly at a head, and there's multiple punches. So to me, that's a major penalty with moderate contact and has nothing to do with hockey, putting it in my 6-10 to 10 game suspension category. But I'm not done with Charlie Coyle either. You can't hold a guy down and intentionally open him up to dangerous headshots. Even though he didn't technically deliver any blows out of it, so technically I'll have to call it a non-hockey play that isn't malicious, that's still some serious unsportsmanlike conduct that can't go unpunished. Tufkal would suspend Tuka Rask of the Boston Bruins nine games for intent to injure, and in addition, Tufkal would suspend Charlie Coyle three games for unsportsmanlike conduct.